Okay, so uh, the daily problem today is power of 2 and says give an integer a write a function to determine if it's a power of 2. So I'm starting right now. So the general idea for this is the approach uh, 1 is can you use bit manipulation? Bit manipulation. Now I already know that if I were to use bit manipulation, the runtime will probably be. We'll see. But, well, I think it turned out to be constant, and um, space will probably be constant as well. So it's a very good way to approach it using bit manipulation. But to be able to do it, you have to understand two things. So, first thing is using um, the AND operator the AND logical operator so logical operator so that will allow me to check if element exists or if uh, if a bit is on or not kind of like generally how I think of what AND can do and then what you do is you take um, <coughs> the examples here now if we look at 16, so 16 in binary is 0, That's what it is in binary. And then if you subtract 1 from it, what do you get? So if you 16 minus 1, you get 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And actually this just becomes a 0. That's what happens whenever you subtract. So everything changes to a 1 after the first one and this is a property of how this will always work because if everything is one before the basically if you have only one bit is on that would mean that everything if you turn all the bits after it on it will be one less than that value so the trick here is that this pattern works this is how you can check if this is divisible by 2, if it's a power of 2. So you can do this, and you could do another example. You could take 1. 1 is in binary, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And if you subtract, if you subtract uh, 1 from it, you get 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, which obviously, if you're going to use the, uh, oops, if you use the uh, AND operator between these, you can get 0 and you can get 0. Right, so if you do the AND operator, you get 0. If you do the AND operator here, you get 0. And then the other thing to consider is what if you have one that isn't true? Like let's say uh, 7, I know, is definitely not divisible. This can be represented like this. Like this. So if you subtract one from 7, you get 6, which is, which is this, obviously, not obviously, but uh, if you do n, then you would get, zero. well, you don't get 0, you get 0, 0, uh, zero 1, 1, 0, yeah, so you're checking if there's a power 2, all you have to do is that. So I'm going to follow the strategy. So the strategy is basically turn through if if n is equal to 0. <laughs> so I think that works. Uh, I think I, that's the solution. So you run code, they return true, you expect it true. Uh, we could do some more interesting stuff like 16, and then we'll do 218. 218 is false. 218 is false. It is false. Uh, we could also try, I'm kind of curious if you can do if zero is even counted as an integer it is yeah zero is an integer huh 
Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if that comes up. So zero is an exception, it looks like. Uh, it's definitely not divisible by two, but yet it will pass this test and look like it's equal to zero. Um, and a bit manipulation. So, okay. Uh, that's fine. I could try something like, I don't know. How do you got this divisible by two? Or a power of two, sorry, not divisible by two, a power of two. That's different. Okay, uh, yeah, so I'll submit this. And then the time complexity and the stuff, the time complexity is still just one operation, it's constant, and not really using any space. So, okay, yeah, it works. All right.